whether you're a student or a working professional, you probably have come across the need to make charts or graphs of some kind for a presentation. Now, there are a lot of software out there, but the most common one to make charts and graph is Excel. In this tutorial, I am going to show you how you graph your data with Excel. I'll show you how you figure out the average for your set of data, and then also show you how to use the standard deviation to put in as error bars for your chart. To follow along this tutorial easily, you need to know how to work with range and functions. So if you're not familiar with those, please go ahead and watch the Introduction to Excel, aka Excel 101 video tutorial. So let's go ahead and get started. In this data table, you have the beverage sales for John's restaurant from 2003 to 2008. Each row represents a year. So row number 5 for 2003, and then row number 6, 2004, uh, row number 10, 2008, and so on. Each column represents a kind of beverage drink. For column C, represent Coke. Column D, Sprite. Column E, Pepsi. F, Fanta. Now, column G is an average sales of the different beverages for each year. Okay, this this column uh, represents data that I uh, calculated. Now, down here you have the beverage sales average chart, in which I graph using these average numbers here. Now I'm going to show you step by step how you generate the, the average number and then how you use the average number to make the chart. In order to calculate the average beverage sales, you need to know how to work with range and functions. So if you're not familiar with these, please watch the introduction to Excel or Excel 101 video tutorial. The next item we're going to calculate is standard deviations. What it tells us is how representative your average is, and we use it later to make error bars. So to calculate the average, what you do is you start out by typing an equal sign, then type in a function average, and then you open parentheses. Now we're going to use the range method. So what you do is you click on the first number of the range, hold down the shift button, click on the last number of the range, C5 to F5, close parentheses, and then hit enter. Okay. Now, we don't have to type in the formula for all 2004, 2008, but instead we're going to copy the formula. So click on 2003 average, then edit, copy, then go to 2004 row, and then just simply click edit and then paste. Now, instead of clicking uh, edit and paste, you can just hit control V to paste. Okay, we're going to do control V for the rest of the years. Okay. So very quickly using the formula method, we have figured out the average sales from 03 to 08. Let's go ahead and save our progress. Now let's look at our uh, formulas here. Um, let's look at the 2003 formula. You see average C5 to F5. All right. Let's look at the 2008 formula. You see average C10 to F10. Okay. So Excel is actually pretty smart by your copy and paste. Excel knows that it has to change the row uh, number as you go down from uh, 2003 to 2008. So kudos to Microsoft. Okay, now let's just figure out the standard deviations of these numbers. Okay, so the formula for standard deviation is STDEV. Okay, again, open parentheses, and then you want to range C5 to F5. Okay, click enter. Now, next is to figure out the standard deviation for 04 to 08. Now, instead of copying and paste row by row like this, you go to here, you see this little black box, click on it and then drag it down. And voila. So, by dr click and drag that little black box, essentially you're copying for the entire range from 04 to 08. Okay? Alright. Now, let's put the dollar sign in these. So, let's select the range you want to format. Okay? And then you go up here to format, cells, Click on it. You want currency? Uh, we don't need any decimal places, so we can put it to zero. Then the dollar sign is what we want. So let's go ahead and click OK. All right. So now you have the standard deviation formatted uh, to be nice, pretty things. So let's go ahead and click Save. All right. Now that we have figured out the average sales and the standard deviation, let's go ahead and graph these. Now, obviously, you gra can't graph every single number in this chart because it would just make the graph too complicated. What you want to do is you want to graph the average uh, versus the year, and then you put in the standard deviation as the error bar at the end. All right. So let's go ahead and select the average column. Okay. Click Shift. Click again. 
make sure you select the average uh, title also okay you go to insert chart now there's different chart type you can select from um, we're just gonna work with the column chart type okay now within the column chart type there are different subtypes you can select from and uh, you can um, see what the different uh, t subtypes look like by uh, press and hold down right here and that's just pretty much standard subtype now if you want 3D you click on this one here okay and let's see a preview of what it looks like so it looks like your standard uh, column type but then it has a 3D depth to it okay for this example we're just gonna select a very basic subtype to work with okay at this point instead of clicking next which will make things more complicated we actually click finished and uh, from here we're actually gonna customize it alright so um, we want to make our chart look like this okay so we have a few more things to do alright right now our chart is very plain and default okay now the first thing you want to do is you want to edit the title so click on the word average and then change it to average uh, beverage sales okay from 03 to 08 now you might have to click the word average several times before the blinking cursor actually appears so let's format the y-axis by making the text a little bit bigger so what you do is you first left click on it and then after left click you hit right click on it and then you click format axis now um, let's click on font um, let's make the font a little bit bigger so let's select size 11 font All right. Um, regular is fine click OK you see how the fonts becoming bigger now um, all right, let's work on the x-axis. Okay, so again, click on the axis. Again, first left click on it. There we go, and then right click on it. And then format axis. Now, let's make this text bold italic. Okay, so click on bold italic. Um, everything else is fine, so click OK. Now you see how the text on the y on the x-axis has become bold italic. Okay. Um, let's do something else. Okay, we don't need this average legend here, so let's delete it. Also, by deleting, you make the the graph a little bit bigger and easier to see. Currently, the label for the x-axis is not what we want. So what you do is you want to click on the blank area on the chart, and then right-click and then click source data. Okay. Now, carry x-axis label. We want to put in the right label for it, so click on this box right here. Okay, so let's select the range for the right uh, name. Click hold on shift and then click again. All right, so B5 to B10 is the right range you want to for the name. You see now the names are showing up correctly from 2003 to 2008 instead of 1 to 6. Okay, let's save our progress. All right. So um, let us now put in the error bars, aka the standard deviations. And drag and make it a little bit nicer here. Okay. So the standard deviation we're gonna put in as the error bars in here. Okay. Now what you want to do is you're gonna click on a column which bring up the series, the series. So right click on the series. You want to click on format data series and then you want to click on Y error bars. Okay, there is some type of display of error bar we can pick from. Um, we just gonna click on the plus. Okay, and then you click down here on the custom, check that box, and then see the plus box. Click on this. Now we're gonna set the range for the standard deviations. So again, click shift, click enter. Click OK, and now you see the error bars. We are done. So let's recap. First, what we did was we take the, the data table that we have, we figure out the average sales. From the average sales, we graph a column graph. And then with the standard deviations, we have put in error bars. This concludes our video tutorial. Thank you for watching. We hope you enjoy it. Please help us spread the word about computertutorials.org and please visit our website for more video tutorials.